Striker Scorpion 82 is now sponsored by Warhammer Combat Cards, a card battle game featuring your favourite Citadel miniatures from the 40k universe. Build your army decks, dominate opponents in player versus player action, collect and upgrade cards to fit your strategy, improve their power and unlock unique traits. Choose from all 40k factions, take part in campaigns based on iconic 40k battles, rise to the top of the leaderboard and win glory. Free to download and play, link is in the video description below or on the channel homepage and by using the unique link it helps support the channel. Thanks and enjoy the game. Right, welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000. It's 2,000 points. It's season 8 league match here. The Thousand Suns, Chaos Space Marines, will do battle with the Death Guard, Chaos Space Marines, in this fight. Right, welcome to this 2,000 points game. Uh, season 8 battle reports here. Uh, this is the Thousand Suns. This will be their debut on uh, the Season 8 League. And they'll be taking on Aaron Allen's Steph Guard Cow Space Marines. It's a fight we've been meaning to do for a long time. Uh, previously, when both of us were building our armies up, we used to ally together. Uh, it's not really fluffy, these two uh, Chaos Legions often at war with each other. And so we've been meaning to do a fight. 2,000 point game, pure Thousand Suns versus uh, the Death Guard Chaos Space Marines. It's a Chaos versus Chaos here in this battle. So, uh, I'll run through the list in just a moment, just to mention the patrons at Gold Level, Marcus Anthony, Paul Cook, Alex Stilwell, Nicholas Lucas, Noah Perkins and Andrew Swan. Big thank you to them for their support at Gold Level. Uh, you can check out the end credits for those supporting at Silver Level and thanks also to those supporting at Bronze. Uh, the Striker Scorpion 82 Patreon page, I've set that up for a local War Games club uh, called SSWG. Uh, it was through them I got into Warhammer 40,000 and it's a club where we film many of our games, especially the Apocalypse Battles and so as a thank you to that club, I've set up the Patreon page and all of the proceeds go towards that local War Games club and they invest it in new and exciting terrain projects which we will see uh, as time goes on in forthcoming battle reports. So, Thousand Suns then, updated for chapter approved 2019. Uh, some points spare, so I've been able to change the structure of this army and it's expanded inside. You can see some Chaos Cultists here being added in. So the structure of the army is uh, Battle Forged, Double Battalion, and then there's also Spearhead as well. So 14 command points, loads of command points. Uh, uh, then at uh, minus one, from that, so down to 13 command points because I've taken a second uh, relic here for this list. So you can choose now which cult you want to be uh, for uh, the Thousand Suns Chaos Space Marines. So I've gone for Cult of Time. Uh, that means you get a Psychic Power, Time Flux, ability to restore lost models. and also going to take advantage of the Hourglass of Manat as well. Uh, we'll, we'll cover uh, what that does in just a moment. So, uh, for HQ choices, then need five HQ choices to make up the two battalions and the spearhead. So, I have Araman on a disc of Zinch. I'll cover psychic powers in just a moment. Uh, I then have three exalted sorcerers, uh, all of them with warp flame pistols uh, and the force staves for each of those as well. Uh, one of them running a disc of Zinch. Uh, so, I've nicknamed him Disco Inferno. The one with the beak, I've named Beaker. Uh, and then the one. 
with the feathers on his arm. I've nicknamed him Chicken Wings, just to distinguish them on the battlefield and just names that I can easily remember. Again, I'll cover their powers in just a moment. Uh, one relic's been used. It's on Beaker here. It's the Dark Matter Crystal, so uh, it means that himself or another unit nearby can be removed from the table during the game uh, and then deep strike somewhere onto the board. A bit of tactical manoeuvrability available with that. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four HQ choices. And the fifth is a Demon Prince. Uh, so uh, taking one of the old Warhammer models here, it's the Necro Sphinx. Managed to track it down. Very appropriate Egyptian style uh, theme with that. He is the Warlord. Uh, so. Uh, the Warlord trait is going to give him plus one to his invun save. It's already at a four plus, so it becomes a three plus invun save uh, for him. And then the Hourglass of Manat means that when he dies in that phase, he's automatically returned to play with D3 wounds remaining. So very, very potent uh, and excited to have that relic. Just to try and keep him alive for as long as possible. He does like to get stuck into close combat. So that's all the HQ choices. Then to make up the troops, for two battalions you need six. So uh, three units of ten Zangors, uh, all with, equipped with Zangor blades. Then there's a, a unit of ten Rubik Marines. Uh, I've dropped the Flamers from the squads. They're all armed with the Inferno uh, Bolters here. Uh, then uh, the squad leader uh, has the Stave and a Warp Flame Pistol. Uh, and then there's also a Soul Reaper Cannon in the squad as well. Then... Uh, to get two cheap uh, troops choices, I've gone for Chaos Cultists here. I've been painting up the Age of Sigmar uh, acolytes here for Zinch, and they fit in very well. And uh, what I've been doing is taking the uh, auto pistols and chainsaws that come with the Zangors, and I've been cutting off the arms and uh, making some conversions to make them look like they belong in Warhammer 40,000. So two units of ten, and that helps me fulfil uh, the slots required for a double battalion. So that's all the troops and HQ choices fulfilled. Uh, it's quite straightforward for the spearhead. It's three Maulafines, all equipped with the Maulafine fists and Lasher tendrils. Uh, and then finally, two units of five uh, Scarab Occult Terminators. Both squads equipped the same. Uh, so four of them with power swords, uh, four of them with the Inferno Combi Bolters. There's a Hellfire Missile Rack in each squad uh, and a Soul Reaper Cannon as well and a squad leader. Uh, the aspiring sorcerer has a stave for him. So uh, that's the list. For psychic powers, they all get time flux. Uh, so uh, it's warp charge value of five. If manifested, select one friendly uh, cult of time infantry unit within six inches of this psyker. You can return one destroyed model uh, from that unit to the battlefield, all of its wounds remaining. So especially useful uh, for the Terminators, I'm thinking here uh, in this game. If it's a nine plus, it's D3 models being restored so uh, exciting power that uh, for that cult of time uh, ability or trait that runs uh, throughout uh, this thousand sons list uh, then your other psychic powers here uh, the demon prince i've given treason of zinch and gaze of fate uh, then aramon himself he can take three powers death hex infernal gaze and zinch's firestorm for him uh, beaker i've given Temporal Manipulation and Prescience. Chicken Wing, I've given Glamour of Zinch and Weaver of Fates. Uh, and then finally, Disco Inferno, uh, Diabolic Strength and Warp Time for him. Then the Aspiring Sorcerers, one here uh, for the Rubik Marines. And then one in each of the Terminator squads. I've given them Doom Bolt uh, as their power that they can take. So very psychic heavy. It's a, a strong theme uh, and battle plan for these. You'll notice... Lack of artillery and heavy guns. It's a different philosophy here for the Thousand Suns. They try and kick out their damage through smite and various other psychic powers. Characters hidden behind screens of infantry. Uh, the Terminators to gun down uh, lightly armed infantry. And then uh, the damage that can be caused against heavier targets coming from the rampaging Maul of Fiends. That's the philosophy here uh, for this Thousand Suns army. But we'll see if it works against the Death Guard, Chaos Space Marines. And indeed, Mortarian will feature in this game. So that's the list of the Thousand Suns. I, they're fresh on to Season 8 battle reports now, so a win will be helpful. It won't be a disaster if they lose, uh, but a win will get them off to a good start. Aaron's going to take his uh, Death Guard army. They've already played one game. It's over on the Plus channel. Uh, he needs to do well in this battle. So there's pressure on the Death Guard in this fight. We'll take a look now and see what Aaron Allen has in his Death Guard Chaos Space Marine list.
All right, so Aaron Allen back with his death guard here. The army's been revamped, uh, adjusted here for chapter approved 2019. A couple of new models being, uh, or new models, new units being added in. So we'll let Aaron run through his list. Okay, so this is my uh, 2000 points of death guard. I have uh, two battalions and a super heavy auxiliary detachment. Uh, the first battalion, I have Typhus and a Demon Prince. And then for my troops, uh, I have three units of. 20 pox walkers and we have the death shroud terminators uh, in the elite slot and then in the second battalion we have a lord of contagion and a malignant plague caster uh, for the hqs and three units of five um, plague marines and two of the units have blight launchers uh, two blight launchers and one of the units has one blight launcher in it the rest of boulders and in the heavy support slots in that battalion we have two plague burst crawlers they have the entropy cannons and the heavy sluggers on them and then in the super heavy auxiliary detachment we have mortarian who is the warlord all right so that's aaron's list he's going to point out psychic powers here so we've got yeah, so the Malignant Plague Caster has Miasma, Pestilence and Putrescent Vitality. Uh, Mortarian, he has Miasma, Pestilence, Curse of the Leper and Plague Wind. Typhus has Blades of Putrefaction and Plague Wind and the Demon Prince has Blades of Putrefaction and the Lord of Contagion has the Relic which is the Separating Plate. Alright, so that's Aaron's list. Uh, raring to go, we'll go on to Scenario and Deployment next for this battle. Okay, so we have a scenario here uh, for this game, and uh, it has been randomly determined. We've gone to Chapter Pro 2017, this time Eternal War. The mission is called Ascension, and the deployment is Hammer and Anvil. We won the roll-off, and the Thousand Sons have elected to go at this end of the table. So this is the deployment zone for them. 24-inch uh, No Man's Land, and then uh, the Death Guard Chaos Space Marines will be deploying here. So, uh, rules for Ascension, Slay the Warlord, First Blood and Line Breaker, as per usual. There's three objectives on the board. The first one, we're using some uh, Blood Angel relics here. So, uh, there's a Blood Angel's Terminator sitting on a throne. That's the central objective. That's the dead centre of the table. Uh, then, this one's been placed as Dead Terminator. And then across the other side of the board, uh, the Cat, as it's called. It's just there. That's from the Space Hulk set. That is the third objective on the board. So quite a straightforward uh, scenario, this one here. It's a fight for the middle ground. You've got to get to the middle ground and control the middle ground for as long as possible. So you get a point uh, at the end of your turn for each of the objectives that you control. And then characters play a key role in this mission. If you have a character on top of one of these objectives, uh, then that means you hold that objective regardless of the other enemy models. So characters will play a key role. Both sides have plenty. Thousand Suns boasting five characters. And Aaron, you have four, five as well. Okay, yeah, five each. So both sides have plenty of characters uh, to call upon in this fight. But it's going to force both armies to fight for the middle ground here, which both sides like to do. Uh, the Death Guard happy to move to the middle of the table, and so too the Thousand Sons as well. We're going to deployment now. We'll start alternating placing units on the board. Whoever finishes deploying first, we get plus one to the roll-off. Right, so the terrain that we're using in this game is uh, a mixture of uh, battle mats and terrain being used. The battle mat is from gamemat.eu. It uh, rolls out nice and flat, 6x4 in size. It's nice desert theme here, so we're able to put the terrain on top, just blend it in with some stones. So the mats come from them. Uh, so too is the industrial terrain set. Uh, so these uh, containers here, uh, these industrial units just here as well, that's all from gamemat.eu. Uh, these green boxes as well from the industrial terrain sets. So you can check out gamemat.eu uh, for your supplies of battle mats and pre-made terrain. And then we're also featuring, starting a, a collection here, uh, of madgamingterrain.com. Uh, they produce the MDF terrain. I've constructed a, a small set of it here. Uh, so the walkways, the buildings are all stackable here. Uh, but this is sort of the in intro bundle uh, for the terrain that's available from them. But check out madgamingterrain.com as well for your supplies of MDF terrain also. All right, so deployment's complete. Interesting here. Both of us taking our time to deploy our units. Uh, fascinating encounter, this one. The Thousand Sons uh, Legion here for Chaos against the Death Guard. Uh, really liking the look of this combination. This is a debut here, isn't it, for this combo? We've never played this matchup before on the channel. So... 
And Aaron finished deploying first, so vitally he'll get plus one to the roll off here to see who goes first. Uh, so Plague Burst Crawlers at the back, the Dim Prince uh, just behind them, bit of guard duty for him and to grant the reroll ones for shooting. Two units of Plague Marines uh, here, one unit in the crater, uh, one just next to Mortarian who's deployed right in the middle, that's the usual spot for him. Unit of Poxwalkers at the back, just uh, aware that the Thousand Sons do have deep striking units. Another unit of Poxwalkers across the other side of that container, another unit of Poxwalkers and then a unit of Plague Marines. Uh, on top of the container there and the malignant play caster is across that side as well and uh, Aaron does have reserves so uh, in reserve uh, typhus is in reserve the lord of contagion uh, and then also the death shroud is it called death shroud, yep. death shroud terminators uh, to arrive as well it's one of Aaron's new units that he's painted up here as he's adjusted the army uh, for chapter approved 2019 it's been interesting to see what kind of impact they can make on the game but a potent deep striking potential here that the death guard have this is the other side of the board so this is the view that aaron has uh, from this direction there's no man's land and then this is the thousand suns deployment so one unit of zangors on the left hand flank uh, cultists at the back two mauler fiends deploying in this gap just here uh, and then coming back around the other side uh, the dim prince you can see is deployed right there on top i believe he's allowed to deploy up there he's got wings uh, so able to go on top there for now. Uh, the Rubik Marines on top uh, of the building here and a couple of the models downstairs. Uh, it's cultists at the back. Again, they may well play uh, as a backline duty to protect the rear of the Thousand Sons from Aaron's Deep Striking units. Another Mauler Fiend here. Two units of Zangles on this flank. Aaron's there. Uh, chicken Wing, Beaker, Disco Inferno all tucked in here getting ready to move. Thousand Sons do have reserves. The two units of Terminators attempted to deploy them on the ball just to let loose with some firepower early on, uh, but we'll try and keep the element of surprise and a potential countermeasure against Aaron's deep striking units. Both sides have decent reserves able to come on turn two onwards, and both sides are uh, sizable enough uh, with their units here. They've arrayed from one side of the ball to the next, and now we prepare to clash in this chaos versus chaos battle. Uh, okay, well, here we go. I don't know who would roll first in this situation. I'll just go first here. Four, respectful enough. I'm not going to complain. Aaron's going to get plus one, and he's rolled a one. It becomes a two. Seize initiative. I guess you'd want to, maybe. Yeah, we'll go for it. Okay, here it comes. A six hit. Required. Oh, it almost it rolled, rolled over. It's a one. Okay, so it will be the Thousand Suns that will go first. We'll see how well these two sides cope against each other. It is a debut game here, so I'm not sure how this one's going to go. I think the two sides are quite evenly matched. The key, though, for this battle, the, uh, the Death Guard, they must win this fight. Thousand Suns looking to make their initial mark this season. Fascinating encounter. We're going to turn one. It will be the Thousand Sons that will make the first move.
All right, so we're on turn one. Just considering where to move here with the Thousand Suns. Uh, with the mission, these three objectives to go after, I think the only way is forward. So we've got to go aggressive here uh, and try and cause more damage uh, against the Death Guard here uh, than we uh, receive from them. Psychic phase will be crucial here for the Thousand Suns, but Aaron does have plenty of psychers uh, that can try and deny powers we attempt to manifest here. But we'll go on to movement now. Uh, we'll decide what to do uh, with our Thousand Suns army. Okay, moving complete for the Thousand Suns. Uh, aggressive enough with them, but sort of c keeping some kind of distance from all Terran. He is a, a danger there in the centre of the table. That's why we've not claimed the central objective. Uh, we have claimed this one here on this flank. The two units of Zangor's advancing forwards. Just a regular move, 10 inches with this Mauler Fiend. Might be able to get warp time off and send it charging ahead. Uh, the Psychers clustering together and a 12 inch uh, advance move made here. Uh, by the cultists doing their duty, forming a screen, just in case Mortarian, he can go 12, might be able to make it in with a charge. Uh, the Rubik Marines advancing along the top, all 10 of them now on top of the uh, terrain just here. Uh, they are receiving the benefit of cover. Uh, we get it on top of there. A few unit, infantry unit on top of these buildings and inside here will get cover. Uh, and then uh, the craters as well uh, granting cover and then everything else is line of sight blocking terrain. So just clarifying terrain there, uh, keeping these at the back, Dim Prince has jumped down, but within range of 24 uh, of Araman. The two Mauler Fiends have made advanced moves, 13 inches, 14 inches, and that's it from them, they'll not be able to do anything else. And we're on one here for our advance, uh, and haven't made it onto this objective to capture that one. But at least one point picked up here. Uh, for the Thousand Suns for objectives. But they've made the first move. And so uh, Thousand Suns uh, moving forwards here, claiming parts of the, the central ground here on the board, but being aware of uh, units like uh, Mortarian over there, just being cautious of him for now at least. Movement's done. We'll go on to perhaps the most important phase of the Thousand Suns. It's their psychic phase coming up next. All right, so we'll start with the Demon Prince across here. Uh, we'll go for Gaze of Fate first of all. So it's a warp charge value of six. It goes off on 11. I think Aaron's going to bother trying to deny that one. It's nothing too special. Just get to reroll dice later on during the turn. Uh, so we'll keep that one on standby just in case we get our perils come up. Uh, Treason Essential will not do. We'll go for uh, Smite here. We'll just check our range and line of sight. It might be the Poxwalkers, it might be more Terran. Yeah, it is more Terran. Uh, Aaron's just checked the range for me there. So we're going to go for. Well, it goes off on a 7. Uh, is he going to block at this stage? This is just the start of a, about a dozen powers potentially the Thousand Suns can manifest. Uh, three. Right, okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just going to go for this. That. Should be quite straightforward to block this one, needing a seven. Nope. No, it goes off on a five. Uh, D3 mortal wounds. Just the one, and Aaron can ignore that on a 5+, plus for disgustingly resilient. And here we go, the first of many disgustingly resilient rolls <laughs> to be made. So a lot of people are asking why Aaron rolls so many 5+, plus. he's using Tau dice, and it's Tau Sept, so it's 5+, plus for your Overwatch, that comes in useful if you're trying to roll 5+, pluses, uh, for your disgustingly resilient rolls. But uh, he's off, to, off the mark here, 100% record so far for his disgustingly resilient dice rolls. Okay, so Mortarian's attracted the attention of Araman now, so we're going to play his cards. Uh, we'll go for regular Smite first of all. Range 24, Thousand Suns, going to put it into Mortarian. It goes off on a 9. It's going to leave it. D3 Mortal Wounds, 2 this time. 5 pluses to ignore. Yep. Not this time. 2 wounds caused to Mortarian. Uh, we'll then play Infernal Gaze next. That's a peril. Uh, we will then use our gaze of fate here to reroll that. <laughs> Just rolled a one. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Right, okay. That's annoying. There's a new stratagem where you pay it and you, you don't suffer perils. I, I could have done that, but uh, but anyway, it's too late now. I've rolled two ones and then followed by another one. Uh, so Araman's uh, in a spot of trouble. Uh, we'll roll up the damage on him. And two mortal wounds taken. Uh, so next, just no more perils, please. We'll go for uh, Zinch's Firestorm as the third power. And that goes off on a seven. This is going to be nine dice, needing sixes for mortal wounds. Aaron's going to let it go through. And there is a six. Blocked on a five. Well done. 
All right, so next up is Beaker. He's buried in there. Uh, we'll go for Prescience with him, first of all. This gives plus one to the hit roll. I was going to try and cast it onto this Mauler Fiend here. And it is a warp charge value of seven, so it's not going to go off. Uh, yeah, I, I'm... Oh, boy. No, we'll leave it. I might need to come here off something else, so we'll leave that one. Uh, we'll then go for Temporal Manipulation and try and repair Araman. Nope, that requires a six. That's not gone off. We'll leave Araman where he is. Uh, on two wounds taken. Yeah, I think Araman's safe enough, so we'll leave the wounds on him. But uh, Beaker, uh, it's a bit of a shocker from him this turn. Uh, we'll then go to Chicken Wing. Okay, so what I'm going to play next uh, is Chicken Wing, Weaver of Fates and Glamour of Zinch. So we'll go for Weaver of Fates first of all. I'm uh, going to try and put that onto this smaller fiend here. That goes off on a ten. Uh, Weaver of Fates gives you... Uh, plus one to the invon save, so now boasts a four plus invon save, we can try and block that one. No. no, okay, and then we'll go for Glamour of Zinch, which is minus one to the hit rolls, and again we'll play that on that Mauler Fiend, meaning a seven, and it goes off on an eight, so that'll be minus one to hit him. Uh, no, we'll leave that. That's going to be left as well. Next, we'll go for Doombolt, uh, it's going to come from him against Mortarian, and it goes off on a nine. Now, this will cause D3 mortal wounds and halve the movement. I think Aaron's going to want to try and block this one. Here it comes. Needing a 10. Nope. No. Okay. D3 mortal wounds. Two. So five plus is required here for disgusting and resilient. Two wounds caused. Well done here. Aspiring sorceries. Uh, caused two wounds on Mortarian down to 14. And I think... Select an enemy unit that's within 18, or uh, range 24 here for Thousand Sons of the Cycle Invisible Tomb. Unit suffers D3 mortal wounds, and in the following movement phase you must halve the movement characteristic and cannot advance as well. Okay, so Psychic Phase is almost finished. Disco Inferno here, let's see if he can get the party started. <laughs> um, di diabolic Strength, we'll see, Aaron's got dice on the ready, he's going to try and block some of these. A uh, 6 requires Diabolic Strength, going to try and put it onto that Maul of Fiend. It goes off on an 11. So that's going to give him plus one attack and plus two strength as well. No, not okay. How many denies have you got left? I have one left. One left, right. Okay, that's all right. And then warp time. This is the one that Aaron's going to try and block if it goes off. It does go off on a seven. I might... I might command reroll this. It sounds strange, but I might try and score a bit higher here with this one. I'm going to command reroll this one. That's marginally better. Aaron needs a nine. To stop this from happening. It's double one, snake eyes. Even a command reroll is not going to help there. So that goes through. Okay, so yeah, an extra move made. Ten inches. And all these uh, powers stacked up here on this super fiend getting ready to move up the table and try and charge. I think that might be our target. So movement's done for him uh, during the psychic phase. Psychic phase is finished. Uh, so not too bad here for the Thousand Suns. We'll tear him down to 14 wounds, but uh, it could have been a lot worse. A lot of powers were directed against him, but uh, just some damage coming through. But Doombolt has struck, struck the uh, Primark here, and he's now slowed down to half move and can't advance. We'll go on to shooting phase here for the Thousand Suns. Not too much firepower. I think the only shooting we're going to have will be from the Rubik Marines on top here. Yeah, so on uh, Psychic Phase, still on Psychic Phase here, I'm going to play the Great Sorcerer, I've paid a command point uh, for it, we're going to manifest Smite here, Disco can manifest, there's no one around that can block it. Uh, the closest visible enemy unit is going to be this unit here, so uh, we'll see if it goes off. It does on a 10, and then it's going to be D3 Mortal Wounds. Two, so five pluses here. Okay, so yeah, Aaron's rolled. Uh, he saved one, so uh, one of the Marines brought down. Not sure if it was worth it, one command point to bring down uh, one of the Plague Marines, but uh, that model's been removed from play. We're going to shooting phase now. Uh, we'll fire with the Rubik Marines next. Okay, so uh, Rubik Marines, uh, six of them with the Bolters uh, can see and are in range of Mortarian, so they'll uh, fire those six shots. Uh, re rolling ones because of the exalted sorcerers that are nearby. Looking for threes. Fives to wound. There's one. It's AP minus two. So four plus in one save here. Three. Three. Okay. And then a five plus to ignore. It's going to be one damage. No. no. Okay. So one more wound caused. And now the Soul Reaper cannon. Rear only ones. 
Still five to wound. Just one more. AP minus three. So again, Aaron will take the four plus invon save. No, one damage. Five plus to ignore. No, wound's been chipped off here. Down to 12. That is pretty much the shooting phase complete. Yes, the Terminators are off the table. That's the other firepower that we have, but the, the weight uh, that we have for damage is the psychic phase. So that's it. Shooting phase finished. We're going to charges and overwatch next. Just one charge, uh, and that is uh, this Mauler Fiend here. All right, so uh, charges have taken place. We took a wound from... It was a blight launcher, wasn't it? Yeah, blight launcher, a wound caused. Uh, Aaron is still yet to do his hosts of plagues. That's yet to come through. Uh, but our charge has been successful. We've gone into both units here uh, on a seven-inch charge, then taking into account the minus two for the crater. Uh, I'm going to play two stratagems, Demon Forge and Warp Flame Gargoyles as well. I'm just going to really try and make a mess of these uh, plague marines if we can. But Aaron gets to strike first here with this host of plagues. So four up for sure. Yeah, yes. D3. Two. Nice. Two more wounds caused. Down to nine. Here on this smaller thing. It's not going to affect our uh, potential here. Uh, just two wounds being caused. All right. So, uh, working out our attacks here. That's Lasher Tendrils. Uh, and then four attacks basic at full strength. Diabolic strength gives you an extra one, and then now the rules for hateful assault as well. So six attacks with the fists, six attacks with the lash of tendrils. Uh, we'll do uh, warp flame gargoyles first of all. Uh, so each enemy unit within three inches, that's those two units there. Four plus for the weaker unit. It doesn't, this could be a waste, and four plus for the other unit. No. Okay, so that one's out of it. It could have gone the other way. We'll play Demon Forge as well. That gives us reroll hit rolls and reroll wound rolls. So we'll put all the Lasher Tendrils into the weaker unit and all the fists into uh, this full strength unit just here. So we'll start with the fists first of all. Need fours. We've hit three. And reroll these ones. We've hit all of them. This is going to be. It could be threes to wound actually. I. Yeah, ah uh, no, these are the fists. I think we're striking at strength 12 here. So, twos for wounds. They've all wounded, and it's AP minus three. And the damage is going to be a straight three as well. So this unit of Plague Marines is in serious trouble. Six is required. Two. There's two. Well done. Aaron's going to keep the unit alive here, or at least one model alive. Four sets of three, yeah. Yes, so those two are saved, and then now Aaron's going to try and roll five pluses. No. Five pluses, almost two fives and a four. Yep. Two fives and a six. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic dice rolling. And no, okay, so well done. That's very, very good. But uh, three casualties. Okay, uh, so then we'll go Lasher Tendrils into the other unit. In fours. And the vital rerolls here. Yeah, it's helped. Uh, this will be threes to wound this time. Uh, there's no need to reroll it. This is AP minus two. So five pluses on five dice. Save one. Save one. Okay, and then it's pairs of dice here. It's damage two of Lasher Tendrils. The first one. Oh, okay, six and five. I don't believe this. Next one. Six and two. Next one. Double four. And then the last one. Double four. Okay, three from there. Haven't got the wipeout here, crucially, so uh, Aaron's not going to concede uh, the first blood point here. Unless morale's really bad, but I doubt it's going to be much of an issue. Okay, yeah, so combat's resolved across here. Aaron can fight back. He can lump all these units together if he wishes. Uh, yeah, it's okay. So you're going to get hateful assault. Yeah. So you're going to get extra attacks as well. Okay. Minus one to the hit rolls uh, for uh, Glamour of Zinch. Just looking for fours for hits. You can reroll ones for uh, the Primark nearby. So that's blocked a number of potential hits from coming through. Fives to wound. Yes. There's two wounds to come through. Uh, three plus armor save. Blocked with both. Okay, so end result here. Uh, the Mauler Fiend with nine wounds remaining. Uh, it's caused trouble here against the uh, Plague Marines, but not wiping any of these units out. We're going to round off the turn here. Uh, points picked up then for the Thousand Sons, just the one. And that's it. Bit of morale, and the turn's finished.
Right, almost just scary moment of uh, morale. Aaron did roll a six here for this unit, but uh, Commander Rio rolled a three. So morale's held, these pass no problem. Turn is finished. We'll hand over to the left guard, Chaos Space Marines. I wouldn't say too much to panic about here. Thousand Suns, though, uh, causing some trouble. Uh, Plague Marines being struck here quite hard. And Mortarian starting to take damage. We'll see what the Death Guard Chaos Space Marines can do as they prepare to reply to this Thousand Suns aggression. We'll go on to turn one for them next. Okay, so movement's complete here for the Death Guard on turn one. So, uh, remaining stationary of these two Plague Burst Crawlers. Demon Prince with wings, he's jumped up and over, to going to try and counter the Mauler Fiend on nine wounds remaining. Uh, and Aaron has pulled out a close combat uh, with these Plague Marines. Uh, Pox Orcus just continuing to spread out there at the back. At, at talking about the Primarch here, uh, Mortarian, Aaron said if he did have his full move, he would have gone ahead, but he's not been able to here with... Uh, after being struck by Doombolt, so he's instead gone half move, uh, turning to his right. I reckon it's an eight inch charge to try and reach the Mauler Fiends around the other side. So, uh, situation around the other side looking something like this there's Mortarian, he can jump up and over into the Mauler Fiends just there. Pox Orcas have managed to get within three inches of this objective, so they'll pick up a point uh, for that. An advance move for them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, malignant Plague Caster just behind. Uh, all five of the Plague Marines on top now getting ready to fire with their weapons. And the other unit of Pox Orcas there uh, around Mortarian pushing forwards as well. Obviously both sides keeping their reserves off the table here will be allowed to bring in reserves turn two onwards. And they could have quite a big impact on the game. But remember the focus of this battle is these three is the three central objectives. Whoever can control those uh, for most of the game uh, should be able to see the game through to victory here. We'll go on to Psychic Phase now for the Death Guard in turn one. All right, so uh, Aaron's Psychic Phase here. Uh, it's Miasma of Pestilence coming from across there against Wolterian. Yeah, here it comes. 11, wow, we can't block it. We've got no Psychers in range, so that's going to go off, yeah. Minus one to the hit rolls against Wolterian. And then we're going to do a smite into the smaller fiend. Okay, here comes smite into the smaller fiend. And again, we can't block it, and it does go off. Just the one? Just the one, okay. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it, so a wound will go on. Uh, just to mention, if you're not too familiar with Thousand Suns rules, uh, for smite, it's unadjusted for us. It stays at uh, five to manifest that power. Just one of the special rules uh, that Thousand Suns have. Right, so more psychic power. Well, just two powers can be manifested here. It's uh, Mortarian. Plague Wind. Plague Wind. Right, just going after the Zangles across the other side. Uh, back off. We'll try and deny it. Aaron's just out of range of 24, so any one of these other four psychers to try and block it. We do not, and I'll leave it. Okay, so one dice for each model in the unit. Model wins and sixes. Ten dice. It's pretty good, that one. Ten. There's two. Three. Well done. Okay, three Zangors. Uh, how do they die? Um, with the plague wind, so... Okay. Poisoned. Okay, my blue chickens have been poisoned here by a Nurgly plague wind. Three of them removed from play. Uh, and the regular smite is next. Uh, yes, so it'll go into the smaller field. Okay. Here. Eleven? Oh, it's going to be D6. We'll try and block it on a double six. Not a chance. Okay. D6 mortal wounds. Four. Now that's a really good result. Well done. So, uh, Morlefiend taking four damage. Yeah, okay. So, that's all resolved. We've got about him. So, there's uh, some smite coming from him. Nearly about a seven now for this one. Yes. Here it comes. Well done. He rolls an eight. Aaron is in range of this one, so we'll try and block that. No. Um, oh, this is quite important. So that's our score. Your total score is an eight. Five. A four? No, a five. I need to roll a five plus to block that with Araman. One command point. I'd rather not that damage come through. I'd like to try and survive against him. I'm going to give it a go. A 33% chance here. Five plus on a command reroll. No. D3 mortal wounds. Just the one in the end, down to eight wounds. Might that. It might prove crucial, yeah, because this is damage to his weapon, I'm, I'm guessing. 
It's like, oh, no. No, no, down. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. That's really good. Well done, Aaron. That's a good play. Yeah, not too bad. A pretty good psychic phase, actually, there for the Death Guard. Uh, showing off in front of the Thousand Suns here. That's well played. Shooting phase next, and the Death Guard boast a lot more firepower at this point here. We'll see what kind of damage they can do in the shooting phase next. All right, so shooting phase here. Uh, this squad of Plague Marines. Uh, Blight Launchers going into here. Yep. Bolters going into the Zangors. So, uh, Blight Launchers. Sorry, and Yes, two shots each, yeah. Uh, we'll tear nearby, yeah. We'll hit. Uh, five to twenty, strength six, toughness seven. Okay, one range. Minus two. Five plus. No, and the damage is D3. It's three. decent rolls, and it's against this damaged one here. Let's put us into a bracket. Uh, down to five wounds left. That Wall of Fiends taken some heavy damage now. Yeah. It's over half destroyed. And then bolter shots. Checking if you range 18 to get that bonus. Okay, one guy. Um, just with the okay. Special rule there for the Death Guard. Range 18. Uh, they get to fire their extra shots. It's going against the Zangors. Strength 4. Toughness 4 on these. So no wounds. Right, so here comes the Lantern from Alternate. It's going to cut right through here. So we'll roll to hit, which it does. Yep. And then to wound on these guys, so it's a strength eight weapon. Two's to wound. Two's to wound. Uh, minus three, three damage. Five plus in one save. Daha! Passed. <laughs> okay. And this guy? Uh, three. Three's to wound, yeah. Um, five plus in one save. Oh, no. Straight three damage. Okay, we'll take that one. And then this guy. He missed him. He went straight through here. Okay. So uh, down to nine wounds left on this one. So uh, trouble on that flank, just around the other side of the board now. Trouble on that flank for the Thousand Suns. They're taking casualties and damage over that side. And Multerian is bearing down on them as well. So Thousand Suns doing well on this flank across the other side. Uh, looks like the Death Guard are stronger. Interesting way this game's beginning to twist here. We'll go... On to more firepower. These pulled out. Yep. Firepower is available uh, from Aaron's artillery here at the back. Okay, so which one are you firing first? Closest one to me. This one here. Uh, yep. Okay, uh, Aaron's declared all his firepower. We'll let him uh, roll up here. So the first. Uh, we'll do the heavy sliver first. Rubik Marines, okay. So fours for hits. Aaron hasn't moved. Two hits and two wounds. Two wounds, okay. So AP minus one. Uh, three up save. Becomes a four up save. Uh, after the AP minus one, bring cover, three plus, and all his dust gives us a two plus armor save here. Yeah. And we've still failed one of them. Um, yeah, okay. I've already used a command point anyway, so we'll remove one of those models from play. And then the mortar? Yeah, here comes the mortar. We won't get all his dust for this one because it's damage D3. Uh, Reroll the ones? Yeah, for the Doom Prince nearby. Just the one. Two's to wound. Yep. Minus two. Minus two. Okay. So, uh, two up, so uh, becomes a four up. Nope. D3 damage doesn't matter. It's going to be a model slain. So he's gone. Okay. Two casualties taken so far. Not too bad, actually. Okay. Entropy cannons. Uh, the entropy cannon into this guy. Yeah, it's going to, into the furthest smaller fiend. The one on the most amount of wounds. There's nine wounds left on that one, on that flank. Now... The other one's yeah, been declared into here. It's minus one to hit rolls against him. Still gets it on an infernal five. <laughs> Yo, strength? Uh, strength, entropy cannon, I think is it. Oh, no, so you're going to be threes to win. Yeah, yeah no, tough as seven. Yeah, so it's not going to be twos. Command reroll? Um, yes, I remember. Here it comes, three plus. Yep. Ah, yes. Okay, and uh, we'll take a 4 plus in one save. We do, thankfully, because of that psychic power, we rolled that 4, otherwise it would have gone through. Just uh, scratch the itch here, and what would the damage have been? Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> next one, let him declare for the next uh, Plague Burst Crawler here. 
Right, so similar to last time, except both entropy cannons are going to go into this one, and then again the mortar and heavy slugger into the Rubik Marines. I thought they'd be quite safe up there, but they're taking damage at the moment. Okay, so heavy slugger. <coughs> Three over one. Three hits. Is accurate firepower? Pretty good. Uh, strength. Strength is. I think it's strength five. Yeah, you're going to get these wounds here. Two up saves. Pass this time. That's from the heavy slugger. Okay, one more. Five. Five shots. Nice. Okay. You got the two ones because we haven't hit anything yet. Just the one, it comes through. The wound makes it. Uh, four up. Passed on that one. Okay, so I weathered that storm. Two entropy cans. This is pretty crucial here to see if more damage can come through. Fives for hits. God, five and a six. <laughs> Unbelievable. Threes to wound. Oh, oh no. Four plus in one saves. Uh, if we lose this one, uh, that's going to be a real good result here. The death guard one's made it through. Damage is six for a pop here. Four. Down to two wounds. That is really, really good. Okay, Morlefine in serious trouble now. Should be able to finish it off in close combat when the Demon Prince charges in. Any other shooting? Charges and Overwatch next. All right, charges and Overwatch. No Overwatch at all. It's only Morlefines that have been targeted here. Uh, it's an easy charge making it in. Mortarian uh, rolled a 7. Kamari rolled, became a 9. So been able to charge both of the Morlefines around the other side. We'll go around there and resolve that combat. Uh, so Aaron could choose... Aye, got to be careful, actually. Aaron does have to be careful because we could interrupt play on either of these flanks. Interesting. I, I think Aaron's going to want to go for this one here. But then this smaller fiend still got a bit of a sting in the tail here at this point. Let Aaron make his choice. It's going to be an important choice who to fight with first uh, in this fight because we could interrupt play with one of these Mauler Fiends for two command points. Regardless of what happens I'm going to play Warp Flame Gargoyles now because it's at the start of the fight phase so one command point has been spent uh, so four plus to try and strike these it's range three we don't get them the Demon Prince, I'm sure we're going to hit somebody if someone forgot to load the, the gargoyles here, yeah, the last one, try and finish off that lone Maria. And mortal wounds is two mortal wounds caused. No. no. I Have I just got first blood? Uh, yeah. Oh, we'll check the wording of it. It's not my turn, though. Oh, mm, so right, we'll check the wording. I might have just picked up a sneaky victory point here. Yeah, that is according to the word, and yep, yeah, it's during the battle, so it doesn't matter what, whose turn it is. Uh, so the Thousand Sons have managed to pick up First Blood on Aaron's turn here. Okay, so that can be removed, and now Aaron's choice. Well, first of all, I'll do my host. Host of Plagues first, yeah, okay, we'll resolve that first. So here it comes. Uh, that feels on this guy. Yes, and the one with nine wounds left. Thousand here, my host of Plagues hasn't gone off here. Okay, so now the choice of where to go. Yeah, tough choice here. Very, very hard choice. There's more of a prize across the other side. But uh, this one's easy to take down. Only two wounds required uh, against the smaller fiends. Aaron's going to go after this one and then try and tank the hits. Uh, he does have Miasma of Pestilence on Mortarians. It will be minus one to hit rolls. Smaller fiends only hitting on four pluses usually. Anyway, so Aaron's going to go for here with the Dean Prince. Can he pick up two wounds against this smaller fiend? Okay, so it's uh, eight attacks because uh, double malefic talons and hit for assault. Right, this is good. Okay, so we're hitting on threes then. Yes. Okay. It stopped a couple. Those two haven't gone through. Cool, I wish I had death to the false emperor. There's about four sixes being rolled. Okay, so uh, we are strength seven. Fours to wound. Da, ah, well done. We are gone. Five. Five. Are all the one at a time. Yeah, we're dead. Six damage. Uh, yep. yep. Two damage at a time. Yeah, malefic talons. I should know. I have the same kind of configuration. Uh, roll to see if a detonate here. No, we don't. Morlefine destroyed. Well played. Uh, one Morlefine brought down. Okay. No consolidation. Don't want to get too close. And then I've just marked the spot where the first Mauler Fiend was brought down. Possibly two more are going to die here. We'll see what damage Mortarian can do. I know we won't. <laughs> I'm going to interrupt play for two command points. 
Okay, so Aaron's just over an inch away from me here, so I can't attack with a healthy one. I haven't charged, and I don't find myself within an inch of Mortarian, so I can't pick him. So gonna have to interrupt play with this one, which is within an inch on five wounds though, so one less attack than normal. So uh, four attacks is actually going to be uh, three attacks. Hateful assault. I was charged, so four attacks there with the fists, and then the lasher tendrils uh, there as well. So ten attacks in total. Um, I've played Demon Forge, so we're going to get to reroll hit rolls. Needing fives, fours. I have to leave them as they are because of hit because uh, of modifiers. Uh, so I can reroll three of these ones. That has really helped here, actually. Uh, a little bit. Those ones. Uh, strength 12s is going to be threes to wind. They've both wounded. Okay, interesting. Four plus invon saves required here. No, two threes. Six damage if that gets through. Um, I will come on, reroll one of them. Yeah, okay, here it comes. Four plus. No, six damage. Aaron will now go to his disgustingly resilient rolls. <gasps> two. On oh, no, his hit average here with that roll. <laughs> but four damage caused down to eight on Mortarian. Lasher Tendrils next. Can't reroll that one. So those have failed. At uh, strength six, toughness seven, fives to wound. Rerollable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Disgusting rolls here. Uh, minus two, so four plus invon saves. Hey, two, two damage, another four. Okay. So Mortarian will probably bring both of these down, but it's costly here. Three more wounds caused, down to five on the Primark. God, right, okay, Aaron will prepare his attacks. Does he have enough potential to bring both Mortal Fiends down? Five wounds to get here, nine wounds to get here. There is toughness seven. There is a five plus invon save. Also, we'll let Aaron make up his mind uh, how he's going to distribute the attacks here from Mortarian. All right, more tough choices here for the Primark. Down to five wounds left. Bearing in mind, this one's already attacked. So, Aaron, the focus is to kill him before he gets to fight here. So... That's, that's your choice has been made. All right, here it comes. Two attacks are going to go into there. Four attacks with Hateful Assault are uh, going to go into this Mortal Fiend. So, two attacks into this guy. Yes. Two, three rolling ones for himself. Okay. Okay. So, these are strength 16. Two's to wound. Three rolling because it's, it's a plague. plague weapon. Ridiculous. Oh, no, no, no. He's rolled a one. And it can't be re-rolled. Okay. Uh, and a five plus invon save to block this. Yeah. What an insult this will be if we roll it. Okay. Damage is? Damage is D6. Five or six. Aaron will be happy. Oh. <laughs> two. Down to three. Okay. Mortifine survives. Can he kill this one? Two's. All hit. Oh boy. Two's to wound. Reorning ones. Surely not another one. <gasps> okay, they've all wounded. All wounded. So potential 4d6 damage here. I'm in serious trouble unless they're all really well. <laughs> sorry, the laugh just burst out there. I couldn't stop it. <laughs> I couldn't stop it. I'm sorry. I try not to laugh with things that happen. I apologise to everybody. It just, it just came up. Here it comes. <laughs> the damage of three. Oh, man. <laughs> Taste of your own five plus medicine there. <laughs> oh, dear. God. Crazy stuff going on. I, I'm enjoying this. Chaos versus chaos. It is good fun, uh, but Mortarian has been halted here by the double Maul of Fiend. I'm going to get to strike back as well with this one. All right, so uh, we'll attack back here. I wonder if we can get Mortarian. So uh, Maul of Fiend fists are on a damage bracket, so just three attacks. Uh, and then Hateful Assault. So no um, no cards to help us out here, so just on a straight roll. I've hit you. No. Yeah. I've missed you. Because of miasma of pestilence. Yeah, well done. Okay, so uh, Lasher Tendrils then. I think Voltarian's going to survive here. Oh, dear me. Okay, that's the difference that that uh, stratagem makes. I'll try and wound. We do wound. AP minus two. So, four plus in one save. Passed. All right, well done. Okay, so uh, that's it. Combat's resolved. No powers for anyone to fight again. So, we're going to leave uh, the turn here at this point.
Aaron can pick up victory points here. Uh, the central objective, no, no one's there at the moment. Um, so one point picked up here, and that is it. All right, so back around the other side of the board. Uh, the turn is finished here. We've lost them all, Fiend. Could have been a lot worse. We kept the other two alive vitally around the other side. But uh, burning command points, so we've got four left. Aaron's got eight, so still quite a comfortable amount for him. What has happened here on turn one? Both sides haven't really collided, but there's been some early encounters going on. Uh, who's emerged on top? from that difficult to say at this stage uh, and both sides still have those vital reserves to arrive on the board we're going to turn two uh, th the game's still on definitely for both sides here and again remember the pressure is on uh, the death guard here in this fight thousand suns have a turn in hand we're going to their second turn next Okay, so we're on turn two here for the thousand. So I was just thinking about where to go. As uh, what's important about these points here, we can continue to pick up points uh, for objectives being held. But if a character can get on top of these objectives, then each consecutive turn it will become two points, three points, four points, and so on. So the key for both sides uh, is not only to capture these objectives, but to get characters on top of them as well. We're going to move it now. See where the thousand suns decide to move. All right, so moving complete here for the Thousand Suns, uh, pushing on past this objective. Aramon's jumped across. This unit, Zangor's, Zangor's has moved. This unit has advanced, just sweeping up on this flank. Uh, we've remained where we are with the Rubik Marines, uh, fanning out along the back here. Just It's a boring job, but uh, they're, they're just protecting the back line uh, from Aaron's Deep Strikers coming in. We have brought in our reserves here, a bit earlier uh, perhaps than usual but turn two the, uh, the terminators have arrived uh, chicken wings moved out across 12 inch move made by the warlord the demon prince uh, he now controls that central objective uh, then around here an advanced move made by disco he's gone all the way across here and uh, beakers followed along uh, i did a, a move in advance and then i used the dark matter crystal uh, that relic's now been used but it's i've been able to move him further along and now means that the closest model for smite will be more tearing. We've kept the two Mall of Fiends where they are, bumping up their wounds as well uh, with uh, the special rule they get. So back up to four and up to seven with this one. Terminators have arrived here. Uh, the Zangors fell back to form a screen behind them and then spreading out here again to form a screen with the Cultists. So uh, a Thousand Suns have all of their models in play. Now we'll go on to the Psychic Phase for them next. Okay, so uh, we'll go here. Uh, we'll play Gaze of Fate first of all. That's for that re-roll. I'm doing Prince, needing a six, and that has not gone off. There's no point getting a re-roll for a re-roll. No, so we'll leave that on. Uh, Treason of Zinch. I'll play it on the Demon Prince. It is an eight. Aaron might want to block that. We we'll need to roll uh, above your leadership. Leadership on him is a ten. Uh, it's greater than, so it's very remote, but if it goes off, I'll take control of him. So you have to more than his leadership? Yeah, I'll need an 11 or 12 on 2d6. Does Aaron want to use up one of his blocks here uh, to try and stop that power? Yeah, I'll, I'll use the Demon Prince's block. Demon Prince will try and stop it. See if he resists. Yep. He doesn't. Now I just need to roll an 11. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> Sorry, it came up again. I couldn't help it. <laughs> I just dropped an 11. All right, so... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Right, it's not that bad. Um, so you can treat the model as if it were a friendly model in your shooting, charge and fight phases. <laughs> <It's> not that <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> I can my charge here. Oh, dear. Uh, rarely that goes off, but treason of Zinch. Uh, we've now converted this guy over uh, to Zinch. Unbelievable. All right, so next we'll go for Araman here. Uh, Smite. It's going to be this unit. Goes off, his whole face is a two. Yeah, Aaron's happy enough. Six. It becomes a seven. It's uh, Aaron, he gets plus one. So seven to try and block that. No, um, he's out of range. Out of range. Okay, D3 mortal wounds. Just the one. Five plus to ignore. No, all right, so uh, one of those brought down. Uh, so we'll go for Infernal Gaze onto this guy. Try and finish him off. Goes off an eight, goes off on a nine. Uh, 3d6 need, need 4 pluses. 2. 2 5 pluses to keep this Plague Marine alive. Almost, but no. Okay, so he's gone. And the last one we'll play Zinch's Firestorm. We'll play it into this one just here. If it goes off. Uh, no, it's a 7. 5 plus 1. That uh, is a 6. But it's, uh, finished here then with Aaron, but not too bad. Clearing some of the Plague Marines out of the way. So across the other side of the board we'll play Doombolt uh, from the Terminators this time. Into Aaron. Uh, into <laughs> into Mortarian, sorry. Goes off on a 9. I, it's, he probably wants to block this. going to halve his speed and D3 mortal wounds. Yeah. Or not. What's he going to do? Yeah, that was a 9. A 9 required, yeah. So 10 to block it. Yeah, it's a tough score to try and get. Uh, we'll give it a go. So the Thousand Sun's trying to kill Mortarian in the psychic phase here. Nope. No. D3 mortal wounds. It's two. Five pluses here. Every roll is crucial at this point. Oh, Aaron's blocked no. one. Well done. Down to four wounds left on Mortarian. All right, so Disco Inferno. We're going to play Diabolic Strength on the healthiest of the Mauler Fiends. It goes off on a nine. Okay, so we'll tuck it in against the furthest Mauler Fiend just over there. Thank you. And then we'll go for Smite onto Mortarian. Goes off on a 9. Ouch, ouch, ouch. 10. Aaron's just got to try and block this. No, almost. Aaron rolled a 9. God, he's thinking about a Kamami roll. This is a tough situation here for the Death Guard at the moment. What else would you put into him now? There's more smites to come. 50-50 yeah. roll. Oh, uh, give it a go. Here it comes. Dice, tough choice here, tough Maybe choice. Four yeah, four plus. Yep. No, D3 mortal wounds. Two. Two more disgusting rolls. No, ouch, down to two wounds left on Walter and his life teeters on the brink here. Uh, that's Disco uh, finished. Uh, we'll go on to the next Psyker. We'll do a low grade smite here from this Terminator. Uh, so we'll put it into Box August. Uh, it goes off. It's a mortal wound, unless you block it on a 5+. plus. Uh, which it does. Roll to 6. Well done. Uh, here, we're going to play the new power. Uh, warp charge value 5. I'm going to try and restore one of the Rubik Marines. We do. So, one Marine restored. That's a first. That's a debut for that power. A big fan of that one. Here he comes. And we'll just restore him back to play. And put him there. There's a bit of a necr Necron feeling to it, that. But... Uh, <laughs> Not just the chrome, the boys in chrome get it, now the boys in blue are able to resurrect models as well with the new rules. The Cult of Time uh, is the uh, cult that we're taking here uh, for this Thousand Sons list. Okay, so on to Beaker next. We'll go for Temporal Manipulation with him, try and put some wounds onto the Mall of Fiend that's taken the most damage. A six, we need a six that has gone off, unless you want to block it. Uh, no. Here it comes. D3 wounds restored. Two wounds. Back up to six on that Mortal Fiend just there. And, and then Smite. This could be the one that could finish more tearing off. Seven. Uh, hold it right there. I could do something quite evil here. I can <laughs> come on, reroll this one. Duh! Okay. <laughs> okay, right. Here it comes. Uh, eight to block. No. No. Okay, it's gone through. D3 Mortal Wounds. I'll just take that away whilst I remember. Using up the command reroll. 
It is two mortal wounds. You've got to make a disgusting, resilient roll here. One of these two dice. Snake eyes. Ah, oh, no. Okay, so Mortarian could explode. It could be a four plus here for all his guts to be strewn across the board here. Okay. He does explode. Does explode. All right, we'll work out the mess here. But Mortarian's been destroyed. We're just going to leave a parting gesture as he detonates across the other side of the table. All right, Mortarian removed. Uh, he scored a mortal wound here and two mortal wounds on this um, on this one. So uh, that is both of those mortal fiends down to five wounds left each. They are into a bracket, but uh, the threat of Mortarian is gone. 470 points for that model. Is he worth that amount? He is deadly, but is he worth that amount of points? Okay, so uh, we've still got Chicken Wing left to go. I think that's the last cycle left. We've done that one. Terminators are all finished. Araman's finished. Yeah, so Chicken Wing next. All right, Psychic Face is finished. Chicken Wing, uh, Glamour of Zinch, and Weaver of Fates. Both of those are failed to roll up for them, so those powers haven't manifested here. But can't complain here for the Thousand Suns. Mortarian has been killed in the Psychic Phase as... We've managed to turn <laughs> the team of Prince over to Zinch as well and cleared away uh, some of the uh, Plague Marines as well. Thousand Suns sensing that they've edged to head here, uh, but Aaron does have those reserves to turn up somewhere on the table. But again, this is the zone running through here that needs to be controlled uh, by either side. Tough situation here for the Death Guard at this point. Still a way to go. But uh, Thousand Suns just getting that vibe that they're edging ahead. We'll go on to their shooting phase. Now the Terminators have arrived. There's a bit of Dacca uh, to resolve now uh, from the Thousand Suns on their turn two. Coming up next. Okay, so uh, you're going to start here with the Marines, uh, the Rubik Marines. Recovered one. Sat still with the unit. So 14 shots, seven of them firing. Uh, and then the Soul Reaper cannon uh, to fire into the Poxwalkers as well. So uh, the first... 14 rerolling ones. Uh, chicken wing is nearby. So there's two. Okay. Most have found their mark here. Threes to wound against the toughness three of the poxwalkers. That's a lot. Ten have made it through. There's the soul reaper cannon to do as well. I'll just roll that up now. Rerolling ones. Not so good. Threes to wound. One more. It's eleven. Eleven in total. Gonna cut through the armor. Aaron will make his five plus. Disgusting rolls here. Uh, let me see two. two nine casualties here. Ouch! Poxwalker's been shot to bits. All right, next unit. The Terminators here. Uh, Mortarian's away, so we'll, we'll offload all that we have into the Poxwalkers. So this is the Inferno Combi Bolters. Gonna fire first. Two shots from the Hellfire Missile Rack and the Soul Reaper Cannon as well. Three to hit. Rerolling ones. I'm using the Forge Bane dice here, and they uh, are particularly a good here. Probably, again, it's a great result. Three to wound. Again, there's loads. Five, ten, eleven more on the Pox Walkers. Uh, I'll do the Soul Reaper Cannon. May as well. Re in the ones. Three to wound. Yeah, another two. Thirteen. Five plus saves to make here. It's blistering firepower coming from the Thousand Suns. Okay, one, two, two saves again. Two, eleven. Eleven, that's the unit Nine, eleven. Nine, eleven is twenty, yeah. Wipeout, unbelievable damage coming through here. Poxwalkers evaporated here by uh, the firepower coming from these two infantry units. Okay, so over the other side now, this unit terminator is all in range 24. Uh, we'll go against the Plague Marines just on top here. So this is the Inferno Combi Bolters. So re-rolling nothing at all here. There's no buffs and bonuses nearby. So we'll just remove all of those that have missed. Five is to wound now though. It's, yeah, dice rolls come through. I should have played... Uh, Veterans of the Long War, Aaron nods, he knows the card well. Uh, AP minus two on those ones, so uh, five pluses followed by five pluses. So you have two Block two, yeah, and then five pluses again. Yep. Okay, two, got two of them. Hellfire Missile Rack, two hits. One wound, minus two. Blocked, that would have been D3 damage, well done. And then the Soul Reaper Cannon. 
two hits. Fours to own this time. No. Strength five, toughness five on the Plague Marines. So shooting phase finished. There is a new card that lets you fire again, but there's no real target now. Uh, the only unit in range is this one, but <laughs> he's he's on our side, so we're not going to fire at him for now. All right, we're going to charge his Overwatch uh, now for... The Thousand Suns. The Mauler Fiends have been freed up, actually. The potential charge could come from them. Uh, and a possible charge. No, we'll not charge. We can't charge a friendly model. Uh, but we'll spin him around and go in against the tanks just here. We'll go on to charges and overwatch next. Okay, so charges have taken place. Some charges have <laughs> rolled. Uh, it's going through the crater. Reckon to have to pay the minus two, even if we have wings. Uh, so... Didn't roll high enough. Come on, rerolled it. Still failed. Wasted one of my command points trying to get the treacherous demon. He's a double agent. Yeah. He's, it was on your side. He's, he's, he's done well. He's resisted the charge. Uh, it lasts to the end of the fight phase. Aaron's going to get him back on his turn. He's at full strength and he's free to move off uh, and cause trouble or he's a character he can tuck back behind. So that's a good turn up there uh, for the death guard. Around the other side, it's gone quite well for the Thousand Sons. So around here, didn't get a charge off with this one, but this smaller fiend has made it in, and we rolled a 10 for our charge with the Terminators. I positioned them just over 9 inches away, so they've made it in uh, against the Poxwalkers as well. But uh, Death Guard being oppressed at this stage, uh, no doubt they're crying out for the reinforcements to arrive. Aaron can bring them in if he wants to uh, on his turn too. But first, we'll go on to uh, combat resolution next. Okay, so uh, we've piled in here. I'm going to attack first the Terminators. Two attacks each, plus one for hateful assault. Let's do the power sword attacks first of all. Uh, no kind of re-rolls going on. Threes to wound. Yep, six. AP minus three. Uh, so it's going to be five plus disgustingly resilient rolls. It's good rolling. Yeah, three brought down. And then the stave. They've all hit. They've all wounded. A minus one, D3 damage. So one at one, okay. nope. one at two, nope. and one at three. Yeah. Almost, okay. Three brought down, that was the, the stave uh, here okay. from the aspiring sorcerer. Aaron's not going to interrupt play here, so the Mauler Fiend's going to fight. I don't want to use any command points here, so we're just going to fight as we are. Uh, so three attacks, the damage bracket that we're in. Hateful Assault, Diabolic Strength, and then the Lasher tendrils here as well so this is the fists two hits one wound damage three on this one yep. okay so one pox walker brought down lasher tendrils unbelievable twos to wound they're all wounded and this comes in pairs this is damage two for each of these five in total yeah first one Second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth one, yeah, five brought down, okay. Poxwalker's endangered species here in this game, they've been uh, picked on heavily by the Thousand Suns. Okay, that's both of them resolved, Aaron can pile in and attack back. Five and three. Right, okay, yeah, five attacks against the Terminators. So if you slay one of the Terminators, it will automatically turn into a Poxwalker. Really uh, so the sand inside will be replaced by really biological nice. slime. Five to wound though. It's got the two wounds. Well done. Just don't get snake eyes. <gasps> okay, one wound taken. And then, uh, yeah, Aaron just marked that up for us. Okay, so put a marker on that. Yep. Is it sixes? Uh, yeah, tough for seven. Yeah. So no wounds come through. No wounds. Those skull markers, a lot of people ask, those skull markers that we use, that's from a game called Battle Masters. And I, when I was very young, I remember watching the advert on television for it. I begged mum and dad for the game. I got it. Love painting up the models. And it was, I think it was that game, actually, that got me into the, the models were by Games Workshop. Uh, but it was that game to play with my friends. Fantastic uh, Game, box game, loads of miniatures, and really got me into uh, wargaming in general. So, a bit of a legacy being used here with those handy markers for marking up wounds on the ball. But that's, uh, anyway, we've uh, digressed slightly here. Well, combat's completely resolved, and I think that's going to mark the end of the turn. Uh, you still control this one. These are troops. 
So we don't have this objective here. We have secured the central objective and uh, we've continued to secure the objective on the other side, but it's, it's only the first time of a character over there, so it's still only going to be one point picked up uh, by the Thousand Suns across the other side of the table. All right, so uh, two points picked up in total. That can disappear. That's Treason of Zinch. That's gone. Uh, the Demon Prince uh, is now loyal once again. He has some doubts, but uh, he's now fully on the side of the Death Guard. There's a morale to resolve to uh, Plague Marine slain here, but I don't think the morale is going to be no problem. And uh, we're going to end. I'm just rolling up. Sort of five. Yep, yeah, fine. Turn's finished. We're going to the second turn now for the Death Guard. Surely Aaron must bring in his reserves now, but it's his choice. We'll see what he decides to do uh, and to rally his forces here and try and resist the Thousand Suns as they surge ahead. Thousand Suns playing aggressive here at the, at the moment, but using their acolytes, their cultists to screen at the back. We'll go on to turn two now for the Death Guard. All right, so turn two for the Death Guard uh, as they try to repulse the Thousand Suns here. Uh, all of Aaron's reserves have arrived. It's kind of e it's evened it up to some degree here as you see them uh, arriving. Typhus has turned up right on this flank. Remains stationary of him. This one's moved off in this direction. The Dim Prince bold from him. He's at uh, all of his wounds, so he's jumped across, and it looks like he's going to try and go after Aramon. Might be able to jump up and over then to get into close combat. And remember, I'm already on two wounds. Well worth doing that because of the objective that we're trying to hold on this flank. Pox Orcas that were here have advanced and formed together. The unit runs through there into the other side. D Death Shroud Terminators have arrived, along with the Lord of Contagion, who, I don't jinx here, but he always makes his deep strike charge. It won't know. But uh, <laughs> he might not this time. But uh, it, it, they're going to try and get in against my warlord here, the Demon Prince. So a bit of revenge possibly there. Uh, and the advantage of that is that there is another objective, the central objective, uh, worth going after as well. So this is the, the counter attack going on uh, now from the Death Guard. Across the other side, uh, the Poxwalkers have remained in close combat against the Mordefiend and the Terminators. Uh, backing off here with the Plague Marines and uh, the Psyker as well, the Malignant Plague Caster. So Aaron hasn't turned up at the back. He's arrived here instead with his reserves and going to try and sweep uh, the, almost said Necrons, the Thousand Suns back. Turn, uh, his movement's done here on turn two for the Death Guard. So much has happened already. Uh, we'll see how successful this counter-attack is. We'll go on to the psychic phase for the Death Guard next. Typhus is going to play Blades of Putrefaction on himself. Off what does that do? Um, it gives him plus one to wound and any wound rolls of a seven plus cause a mortal wound addition. Uh, okay, uh, we'll try and block it. We've got lo lots of uh, abilities to block, so we'll go Aram and block. Needs an eight because he's on plus one. Seven. We'll leave it. I've only got two command points left. So that works. That goes ahead. If he does charge, it's only uh, chickens that he's going to hit here, the Zangor, so we'll leave that as it is, but Blades of Putrefaction has gone off. Uh, so, next, Psychic Power here. Smite, Smite with the Demon Prince. The closest unit is the uh, Zangor's hit. 11. 11. May as well try and block with Araman. Doesn't go off. D3 Mortal Wounds. It's a good roll. D6, actually, sorry. Yeah. Two. I am yeah, he's been lured into a Kamar reroll here. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, now it's a one. Oh, okay, right, we'll take that one just there. One's angle brought down. You should you should use these dice. Five, there you go. <laughs> okay. Right, so uh, one wound there. So there's more psychers. Lord of Contagion's not a psyker. No, no Malignant so Playcaster next. Uh, so we will do a smite. Yep. Uh, we go into the yes, I don't think I can stop this. Out of range. Perils and your command mural has been used. So, D3, D3 mortal wounds. Oh, you get your three there. <laughs> okay, right. Oh dear. Three wounds caused across there. And another power? If you want to risk it. Uh, not below. No. Yeah, no. okay. Psychic phase finished. Uh, strange results going on here. Both sides of psychic powers. There's a disturbance in the warp for sure. We'll go on to shooting phase next. Okay, uh, five power from these going into the smaller fiend. There's five wounds left. So, um, light launcher. This is the squad we've just won, light launcher. Um, no five's for a wound. 
Got it. Okay. Uh, minus two. Five up. Save. Got it. On a six in response. Okay. And then bolter shots. Uh, one hit. Yep. A uh, wound. Failed. All right. Down to four wounds. All right, so uh, this is why Aaron moved across. He's going to offload all that he has into the Demon Prince, who's the closest model. Heavy Slugger's going to go into the Zangors just here. Blasphemous Machines, no minus to the hit rolls. Okay, yeah, good use of a stratagem. Aaron has five command points left. So uh, into the Zangors first, Heavy Slugger? Yep, same fours. No re rolls. Yeah, just the one. Threes to wound. Does wound. Five up in one save. Failed. So we'll take that one away, so we've taken two casualties now. Okay, uh, entropy count. This is the dangerous ones here. Fours. Got the hit. Um, hmm. Tough choice. Does he try and go for a hit or does he save it for a, yeah. a wound roll? Okay, here it comes. Threes to wound. Or twos, maybe. Well, it's a six anyway. Three plus invon save. Uh, it's a four plus because of a zinch demon, and then plus one for our warlord trait. And it hasn't helped. I'm going to have to come on and reroll that. It still hasn't helped. Unbelievable. Down to one command point left. D6. D6 damage. Five. Oh, that is. That is superb. Oh, no, not so good. Okay. Uh, five wounds taken, three left. Mortis next. Aaron's got a chance of finishing this demon off. Three shots. Just needs the hits. Ah, two ones and a three. Yeah. Gosh, it's a long, long shot. Fours for a hit, then. Just so gonna leave it. Uh, Demon Prince gravely wounded, though. Three wounds remain. It gravely wounded to the point where he could be in a lot of trouble if these charges go ahead uh, with those Terminators and the Lord of Contagion as well. So it's not all over yet here for this Demon Prince. So we'll press on. Good firepower so far from the Death Guard. Right, firepower's been declared with this one. So I'll let Aaron... I'll do the Andrew Cannons first. All right, it's so going into the Mall of Finn. It's just tucked right around the corner. He's around there. Where he can be seen from here. There he is, just hidden behind the building. Snake Eyes again. This is getting weird. Okay, and Dim Prince, no, he's too far away to get the rerolls. Okay, at uh, the mortar. Mortar, D6 into the Zangors. Four. Four shots. That's two hits. Two hits, two's to win. And uh, plague weapon, thankfully, so it's a double one there. Another snake eyes. Yeah. Weird stuff. Two, two wounds come through, five pluses. Six and five. This is uh, getting kind of strange here <laughs> with these dice rolls. Yeah. Heavy Slugger next. One hit. One hit. One wound. One wound. Not saved. That was against these. Uh, that was against, was against this damaged unit. Fine. Okay, yep. So another casualty caused down to seven left. Three casualties taken. Uh, that's actually the shooting phase finished. So it resolved here. Some disappointing results. Some moments of brilliance and then some disappointments along the way as well shooting phase is finished charges and overwatch the game is crucial now for the death guard these two charges in particular to try and get to the middle ground to try and bring the demon prince down this is pretty important those two roles uh, a charge to go ahead here to try and bring down araman and also a chance to try and get uh, typhus into close combat as well but some good dice rolls required to make these charges uh, but the game could hinge on this charge phase coming up next. Uh, we'll roll up some charges uh, and overwatch. All right, so charges have gone ahead. Lord of Contagion didn't make it in, but uh, the Death Shroud Terminators have a good roll for them. So Aaron's happy with that result. Uh, across here, Aaron has been contacted in close combat by the Demon Prince as well. Uh, and then Typhus rolled an 11 for his charge, so he's made it into contact uh, against the Zangors. So pretty good results here actually. Uh, so all of the charges except one going ahead. We'll go on to combat resolution. I've got one command point left. I cannot interrupt play here. So Aaron has free reign to attack with his charges. Then once they're resolved, he'll then get to fight with the Poxwalkers as well. So he's going to get to go first with all of his uh, units here. We'll go on to combat resolution next. This is an important one now coming up next for the Death Guard. Right, here it comes. Loads of attacks. You're going to get these Death Shroud Terminators. Three attacks each. The squad leader gets an another attack and then uh, Hateful Assault on top of that as well. 
Threes. Not bad. Pretty average. So they've come through. Strength hit. Toughness six. Plague weapons? No. Uh, yes, they are plague weapons. It is a plague weapon. Okay, so we roll that one. Five wounds come through. What kind of damage are we looking at here for these? D3? Uh, minus three, D3 damage. Okay, there's five. Three pluses. So you're saying D3 damage. Mm -hmm. I will. I have to come on, reroll it. Three plus, here it comes. He li oh, he dies. Or he could die. He could die. He could die. rolls a five plus. <laughs> no. Nice or two. Come on, re-roll. Um, yes. I <laughs> okay, here it comes. Five plus. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, dear. Oh, he's gone. Or is he? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right, okay. I'm just leaning over and grabbing my book. The Hourglass of Banat, the first time model of this relic is destroyed at the end of the phase. Uh, return that model to play D3 wounds remaining, placing it as close as possible to its previous position and more than one inch away from enemy models. So you won't get to fight. It's like we've been pushed over and pushed back. But he gets back up again. That's the first here. He used to, used to be just died. But now he has the Hourglass of Manat, whatever that is. He gets back up with three wounds remaining. So we'll keep that marker on with three wounds. And we'll just push him back. Just over an inch, like so. Ah, hmm. now what's interesting? Yeah, well, uh, I do that now. We'll just check the wording of this. The, the, at what point I get back up? I think it's straight away. We'll just figure this out because Aaron, as yet, still has his consolidation move to make. You do. No, it's the end of the phase. I'm going to remove my model from play. He does come back with those wounds, but it's going to let Aaron claim a few more inches of ground here. And when I redeploy, uh, it will force me to uh, not deploy here, but somewhere else. So, interesting. I'll put him back on at the end of the phase. And that means is that I'm definitely not going to get to fight because I have to deploy put him back on uh, over an inch away from enemy models but Aaron has claimed the central ground here what a twist here in this battle terminators versus terminators now in the center of the board right next Aaron's going to attack here with the demon prince to try and take down Aaron only needs three wounds I've already got two so you should get him two to hit rerolling ones yeah nice okay. Loads of attacks, standard Dean Prince, fantastic. Two's to wound, three's to wound. Uh, it is no, I mean, if it talents, yeah, strength seven, three's to wound. Two. That is still six. six. Yeah, everyone's going to go. Four pluses required. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damage? Damage is two. I've survived. That's <laughs> completely against the odds here. But two wounds taken. Araman, by the skin of his teeth, has survived here against the Demon Prince. He should be dead. Other than that dice roll, that, that school that we've rolled just there. Uh, so that one's resolved. Uh, Typhus next against Zangors. I think there's a special rule for Zangors against characters. I think they get to re-roll something against characters. We'll see how many of them survive, first of all, as uh, Titus, Typhus plunges in. Okay, so five attacks. Hit not twos. Um, he does not. Oh well. It's out of range of the prince, yeah. The prince, okay. The all wind. The wind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, five plus in one saves. Pass one, two zangles slain. Okay, round the other side, that fight across there, uh, Terminators and the Maul of Fiend against uh, the Poxwalkers. Okay, so it's, the Terminators. it's going after Terminators here, trying to pick up that wound, a bit of pride here. One wound. Don't roll a one, it's a three. Okay, we've survived. Okay, so now there's a chance for us to fight back. Uh, I just have to go to the Maul of Fiend. Oh, sorry, Maul of Fiend attacks, yeah, going into that. Uh, one hit, no wound. No wound, done, okay. Okay, so attacking back here with the Terminators. Need threes. Threes again. Three. Okay. Nope. No, Poxwalker's brought down. One hit. This is with the uh, no wound coming through. So that's the Terminators finished. 
Uh, and then we'll do the Maul of Fiend now. So he's on three attacks. And that's it. Fours. Uh, sorry, another attack there for Diabolic Strength. Two to wound. One wound comes through. Three damage. There's one. No, okay. There's another one gone. Six attacks with the... Lasher Tendrils. And that's it. Two wounds come through. Uh, two damage each time. Okay. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Now it'll carefully select like so, and that'll continue to pin me in. I'll consolidate. All right, now I'm going to leave a gap. I'll sit where I am, so I'm just going to tuck in like so, and we'll try and finish them off next time. But uh, Poxwalkers. I think you've been kicked off the object. We'll check that later on uh, here, but uh, we've been held back by these pox orcas. There's two of them remaining. All right, so Zangles, uh, they have Zangle blades. They're fighting against Typhus here. That's the attacks. Aaron's nearby, rerolling ones. Or rerolling our hit rolls, actually, because we're fighting against a character. Relic Hunters is the special rule. So we'll reroll uh, re everything. Almost all of them have hit. Uh, strength four, toughness five. five, yeah. five to wound. Uh, four. Four have made it through. It is actually AP minus one on these Zangor blades. Three up. Three pluses. Two, um, two, five up. Five up. Nope. Got a wound. Okay, we've picked off a wound here on Typhus. Uh, Araman to fight next. Five attacks because I was charged. Two's to hit. Uh, force to wind. Tough to six. Yeah, yeah we're strength six with our stave. They've all wounded except one here. Uh, AP minus one. What Aaron has to be careful of is three damage. This would be quite a, a twist if. No, oh, you're okay. You're right. <laughs> three damage. Uh, five pluses to ignore. Okay. No, three damage taken. Interesting result. Okay, Demon Prince has been knocked down to five wounds left. I'll attack the disc. Hits. It does wound actually. Okay. Uh, so save. Yep. It's made it through and a five plus. A spinning disc here. It's yeah. picked up another wound down to four. Disc doesn't usually do much, but it has this time. Doom Prince. Uh, it's taken four wounds. Four wounds remain. This one's resolved. That one's resolved. Uh, so we're at the end of the phase now. So I'll now return the Demon Prince back to play. Okay, so turn's finished. Uh, morale's been resolved. These ones passed. Roll a one, roll a six for them, so I've taken two of those off uh, for this unit of Zangors. And that's it for morale uh, across the board. Poxhawk was not affected. Situation for objectives in the end of Aaron's turn two. Uh, character and character on top of the objective, so that's neutralised. No one gets a point for that one. Uh, Aaron had claimed this objective, but we resurrected the Demon Prince. He's now been placed back in play within three inches of the objective, and so we count as holding that for now. Across the other side, though, just about keeping those pox walkers alive, uh, Aaron has claimed that objective, so a point picked up there at the end of his turn two. But uh, eventful here for sure. So... The Death Guard have done something definitely to uh, level up this game, and they're certainly not out of the fight. But uh, the, the key point here is that the Thousand Suns have a turn in hand. It's their chance to strike back now. Uh, we'll see what they decide to do. They're dangerous at this point because their psychers are still alive and on the board, and just about Araman is still alive as well. So there's danger here at this point for the Death Guard with so much psychic might still on the table. Going to turn three now, approaching the middle stage of the game. Turn three coming up next for the Thousand Suns, Cow Space Marines. Okay, so uh, Thousand Suns turn three. We've remained in close combat here against Typhus. We've pushed through, haven't advanced, we've just moved through six of those Zangors. Might be able to try and disrupt some of the firepower uh, from these Plague Burst Crawlers. Aramis standing close to combat, hoping to use our psychic powers uh, to slay the demon. Uh, then across here, Terminators have pushed forwards. Behind them uh, is the three exalted sorcerers. Staying where we are with uh, the Doom Prince, because I want to try and pick up two points for controlling this objective with the character. Uh, maintained our position here. 
uh, have advanced now. Their job's done, screening at the back. So we've advanced with this unit of cultists and the others are rolled six. So 12 inches moved by them. I'm just going to try and flood them through in this direction. Add. And then around the other side, at locked in combat head is happy to stay in close combat with these two units. Zangles have advanced forwards and then eight inches move because of our damage pushed through here with this smaller feint. Movement done. Psychic phase next. Gonna try and doom bolt away uh, the poxwalkers. Almost periled there, it's dangerous. Okay, but that hasn't gone off, so that's that one finished. We'll do the demon prince next. Gaze of fate. That goes off on an 11. Uh, so we have that one, and then we'll do. Yeah, we might do uh, the Treason of Zinch. We'll check line of sight. Yeah, we'll just check if we've got line of sight here. I need to see the Lord of Contagion to make this work. I think my malefic Talon can see through. I think we're okay. We'll double check, but uh, yeah, Aaron's happy enough. So we'll see if we can make this one go off first of all. It does not on a four. It's eight required. I can roll this and try and get a five. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Uh, no, no, I'm going to be sensible. I need to hold off here just in case we get a perils come up. So I'll leave the treason for now. Maybe maybe next time. That's the imprint's finished. Uh, Disco Inferno. Uh, we'll go for smite with him for sure. So here comes smite. It does not go off. So that's failed. Okay, so I'm going to put Diabolic Strength onto the Demon Prince. And it goes off on an 8. So just giving him a, a boost, extra attack, and plus 2 strength. Yep, yeah, Aaron out of range to block that one, so that has gone off uh, there on the Demon Prince. Alright, so we'll do Beacon next. Prescience, going to try and cast it onto these Rubik Marines here. It's eight, that goes off. Let's plus one to the hit rolls on that one, so that one's going to go off. And then we'll do Temporal Manipulation. He is in range 18, we're going to try and restore some wounds on Aaron. That goes off on a nine. Does Aaron block at this point? So that's come from him. Dean Prince can do it, yeah, if he wants to. Right. Ten required. Uh, no. Tough choices here. D3 wounds restored. Just a wound taken off of Araman. So, uh, still three wounds taken. So that's him finished. Temporal manipulation went off. Uh, Terminators can't do Doom Bolt. It's been used already. So we'll go for uh, low grade smite. Yep, goes off. So it's one mortal wound. Five plus to ignore. Yeah, no, okay, so one wound caused on the Death Shroud Terminators. We're going to try and restore a model again here uh, with a psychic power from this uh, Sparring Sorcerer. Goes off again, so uh, another Rubik Marine restored to play. And we'll tuck him just on top of the boxes just here. Okay, so we'll go for... Glamour of Zinch now onto the Terminators. Goes off on a 10. That is at minus one to the hit rolls. It's going to go through. And then Weaver of Fates will try and boost their invon save here. It does not go off on a 4, needing a 6. So that power has not materialised. Okay, so Aaron, uh, here, we'll do Smite into the Demon Prince. <laughs> Gaze of Fate, the card, where is it here? It's just here. Okay, a re-roll during the turn. We'll use that up now. Just don't roll a one. <laughs> okay, it's gone off on a seven. Plus one is eight. No, nope. no D3 on the Dean Prince. It is three wounds. Important roll here. So one. one, two more wounds taken. Down to two wounds left. Okay. Uh, we'll go for Zinch's Firestorm next, into him. Needing a 7, that's a 6 in total, so that one's not gone off. Oh boy. We'll go for... Oh, this is trouble. We'll go for Death Hex to try and remove the Invon save. And it goes off on a 9. I don't any more denies no denies left. Okay, so uh, we're stripping the Invon save away from the Demon Prince. Just there. That marks the end of the psychic phase. 
Uh, mixed results, but loads of psychic options here available for the Thousand Suns. So some damage coming through, number of enhancing powers used as well. We'll go on to the shooting phase next. Okay, so on shooting phase at the moment, uh, Inferno Pistol fired uh, but missed there with Aramon against Steam Prince. 16 shots now with the Inferno Bolters. That's coming from here now that the squad's restored to full strength. They've sat still and they're going to offload all of their shots and the Soul Reaper Cannon as well into the Death Shroud Terminators. We're on plus one to the hit rolls, so twos to hit. And we can re-roll once because uh, Beaker's within six inches. So they've all hit here. Fives to wound though, toughness five on these terminators. Just three. AP minus two. Four pluses. Save one. And then five pluses again. It needs one, otherwise one of these models will be brought down. Yeah, not quite got to no, just one wound caused. We'll see if the Soul Reaper cannon can live up to its because there was one guy on wound. How many, wound, how many wounds are they each then? Well, they're, just two they're only two wounds each, right? I thought they were three. Okay. Uh, trying to hit here with the Soul Reaper Cannon. Wounding on four pluses. Because toughness five, just one. Eight minus three. Okay. No. One wound taken unless there's a five plus rolled. Yes, passed. All right, okay. So uh, just one Terminator brought down so far. Uh, so Warp Flame Pistols, one, two, three from each of these uh, going in. So the first one. Six hits, it's also hits here. Strength three, toughness five, five to wound, nothing. The next one, three auto hits, two wounds, minus two. Two, four, and five plus. Got it on a six. Got it, well done. And the next one, six hits again, auto hits here from these warp flame pistols, two wounds, minus two. And five plus. Yep. That one wound caused. So that's them resolved. All right, so Terminator's next. They're going to offload all that they have, apart from the Hellfire Missile Rack, which is going to go into here, uh, but the rest of the firepower is going to go into these Terminators. So Hellfire Missile Rack, first of all. Two hits. It's against the Plague Burst Crawler. No wounds coming through at all. Uh, then Inferno Combi Bolters. One, two, three, four of them. Three to hit, re-rolling ones because of all the exalted sorcerers nearby. They've all hit except one. Five to win though. Yeah, this is pretty good. There's six. Yeah, six uh, minus two. So fours, not bad. And fives to ignore. Blocked another one. So. That dead model, yeah, and the wound's transferred over. We'll see if the Soul Reaper Cannon can finish him off. Quadruple four. No wounds, though. Needing fours. So that's their firepower resolved. And actually, that's the end of the shooting phase. Okay, so still one wounded Terminator remains defiant. But there's a host of stuff poised to charge into him uh, as we fight for the central objective. Uh, I don't have pistols here. This is uh, Zangor Blades, so no shooting available in close combat. And Araman hasn't quite brought down uh, the Demon Prince just here. He's going to have to try and use close combat ability to finish him off. He, he better, otherwise Aaron may well find himself in a lot of trouble. We'll go on to combat resolution uh, and charges first of all. Charges and Overwatch next. All right, so charges taking place. We did take a casualty here, but the Zangors are made in. That's going to disrupt the firepower from this Plague Burst Crawler. Uh, then across here, Terminators made it in. Took three wounds uh, from the Gauntlets, or one Gauntlet, but uh, all our two-plus saves passed. We've held back with the characters. Won't commit them to the fight. They're happy just to sit where they are, just aware, aware that there is a Lord of Contagion uh, still poised to charge in. And then around the other side, continuing on to fighting with the Terminators just here and a failed charge. No damage taken, we failed to charge uh, with this smaller fiend into the Plague Marines just there. We're going to combat resolution next on turn three here for the Thousand Sons. So we'll see if we can bring down this Terminator. Uh, they'll do the Force Stave first from the Aspiring Sorcerer. Gets his hits and gets two wounds. AP minus one. One goes through. It's going to be D3 damage if it makes it. Um, I'll re -roll that. Here comes a command reroll. Okay, just to try and keep that Terminator alive. No, it's a one. Okay, so damage is three. 
Ah, oh, sparring source has brought him down. Okay. That's that combat resolve. We'll consolidate. I reckon we'll push ahead here just to form a bit of a screen. <laughs> Crack okay. We've pushed forwards and claimed cover. I was all happy we were doing well. But uh, Aaron has been waiting here. Two command points being used. He's now going to interrupt play and he's going to try and bring down Aaron here. It's a good move. You've been death hexed here. There's no invent save. So he would have been in trouble. But uh, he's going to fight first. Twos? Twos, yeah. Are you rolling well because of himself? He's got his hits. Oh, Darriman's a, a dead man here. Mm. Three's to win. Three's to win, yeah. It's not a... Uh, it's five. Not really rolling ones for... Uh, prolific talents? No, okay. Five have made it through. Oh, I need a miracle again. I can't keep asking for miracles. No. Two damage each. Right. Yeah, Aaron's dead. That's it. That was quick. <laughs> okay, so he's gone. Okay, well played. Aaron's been slain. Yeah, that's denied me that points there. Uh, and all of a sudden, there's a demon prince on our flank. Uh, so, uh, we're free to move on to other units now. So, we might as well fight here with the Zangors. Uh, fighting here against Typhus. They've surrounded him here. Their speciality is taking on characters. So it is uh, eight of them. Okay, so uh, here's the attacks. We need threes. And we're going to re-roll everything here because we're fighting against the character. They've all hit except one. Five's to wound. There's two. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a load here. AP minus one uh, with his angle blades. Seven of them. Aaron should survive. Three ups. <gasps> Four have made it through. Okay. Five's to ignore though. He can bounce back here on a good roll. And he has his save two. Two more wounds caused. But uh, Typhus I uh, getting cut down here. Yes, he's half slain. Uh, but he's been surrounded here by these uh, Zangors determined to try and bring him down. Uh, I forgot this charging unit, actually it's very insignificant because I doubt we're going to do much damage. We'll roll up for that here uh, against this tank. So six attacks with the regulars, twist brain of a three. Three to hit, it's not a character, so... Six is to wound. One wound comes through, AP minus one. And nope, and then a five plus to ignore. No, all right, so we've managed to cause a wound on the vehicle. I'm just fighting back with Typhus at the moment. Uh, Two. It's a plague weapon. Yeah. Four. Four. Okay, see if our five plus invun save can help the Zangors out. It does, we've blocked two. It's two more casualties taken. Like so. Okay, so we've resolved the rest of the combats across the board. Just a few bits here and there uh, to finish, and morale's been resolved as well. So passing morale, uh, there is six of them left on... Typhus across here. We caused a wound in close combat and took no damage in return. Uh, and across the other side, uh, swept past the last of the Poxwalkers. The Terminators have pushed forwards three inches. As uh, Aaron got to attack first but caused no damage. So turns finished. Objectives are here. Thousand Suns are starting to break through at this kind of level. So they're pushing past the halfway mark, uh, tying units down. The only exception to that is this. Demon Prince here on this flank, hiding behind this container at the moment, but he's available to fly across the board and cause trouble uh, for the Thousand Suns. But uh, I still think the Thousand Suns have the upper hand at this stage. They've caused more damage, and they're quite comfortable now on two of the objectives. We'll calculate points here at the end of turn three for them. So we get two points for this one. It's the second turn we've had a character on top of that objective. We get a point across the other side as well. So the key now for the Death Guard uh, is as quick as possible and if possible to try and push the Thousand Suns off of these objectives. Next turn, that's going to be worth three points to us if that's still held. We're going to turn three now for the Death Guard. All right, so movement done here for the Death Guard on turn three. Continuing on, or stuck in close combat here with uh, Typhus. This objective has been abandoned now. It's open uh, for capture. Uh, Hell position with this one. 
yes. Yeah, that one stays still. This one's moved back. Uh, the Plague Burst Crawler just to back out of close combat. Uh, it's pretty obvious the move here from the Lord of Contagion. He stepped up to the fight here against the Terminators. Uh, the Demon Prince then. Two wounds left and no invun save at the moment. He's been uh, received Death Hex here from the Dead Arrowman. He's jumped across and potentially Aaron's saying he's going to try and go for Demon Prince versus Demon Prince here uh, in the middle of the table. Uh, then Poxhawker's forming a screen. Uh, the Plague Marines in the crater, and then uh, the Malignant Plague Caster just behind them. Movement's done, Psychic Phase next. Okay, so Psychic Phase is complete. Uh, smite went off here, very effective. Three casualties caused. Uh, smite fouled here. Smite fouled across here, but uh, a power did go off on those to enhance them. Yeah, um, the vitality. vitality went off. Okay, so that's Psychic Phase finished. Uh, we'll go on to Shooting Phase next. Okay, so shooting phase has been resolved here. Uh, what's that one called? The Destroyer Hive. Destroyer Hive. Uh, no damage caused. Uh, a uh, heavy slugger gunned down three of the Zangors just there. A bit of a surprise uh, result, but some excellent dice rolls uh, just there. Mortar firing through. Uh, entropy cannons firing through. One of the Terminators slain uh, in the middle. And then across the other side, a wound picked off one of the Terminators that brought the model down. So four of them left across the other side. That's firepower complete here. We'll go on to charges and overwatch next here for the Death Garden turn three. Okay, so uh, charges taking place. Some strange events uh, yet, again, <laughs> yet again. Dim Prince with no invun save charging in. Aaron did declare against Beaker just to, uh, just in case he fouled his charge uh, to go against the closer model. Took six auto hits from uh, the Warp Flame Pistol. Uh, no invon save available, so fouled a wound. Uh, didn't recover and discuss the resilience, so one wound taken. One wound left on the Dean Prince as he charges in. Once he makes a piling move, uh, Aaron will be able to uh, get within an inch of my Dean Prince. It looks like this uh, Dean Prince versus Demon Prince uh, combat will take place. Uh, then Lord of Contagion has made it in. We caused a wound on Overwatch, but he has made it into close combat. So ongoing combat just here, and then fresh charges taking place as the Death Guard desperately fight here for the central objective. This could be the climax of the game here. We'll go on to combat resolution. Any command points left at all? Nope. None. All gone. And the Thousand Suns have none left. So here we go. Aaron will pick a combat and fight. Right, so we've heroically intervened, by the way, with all of these. Uh, we'll just tuck him in, but uh, Aaron will get to fight first. And I think he's going to direct all of his attacks Two's against my Warlord. Here we go. Two zero ones for himself. Hit. All of his hits. Now, what are you fighting at here? Strength. Uh, we'll check. I'm toughness six. Seven. I think, yeah, that's right. Strength seven. Um, um, yeah, so that's five. Five. I need to pass most, uh, nearly all of them. Here we go. I'm a goner. Yep. You got him. Yeah, that's six damage. <laughs> well played. I just have to say it's a very good it's a warlord kill. You've slain the character. That is uh, an excellent result. Yeah, stunned silence here. Banzai charge from <laughs> from the team prince, but what a result! Uh, Warlord taken down. He's not gonna. Uh, the hourglass of Manat is a one use only relic, so he's not gonna get to use that again. The team prince uh, for the Thousand Suns is well and truly gone. So well played, good kill there, and a victory point picked up. All right, next to we'll see how much damage Lord of Contagion can cause. Uh, it'd be ideal to wipe out the Terminator so that we can't resurrect models in the psychic phase, but we'll see. Well, Aaron rolls up here. Okay, so, uh, Two. Oh no, hold it right there. There's trouble here with that roll because it's minus one to the hit rolls. And Aaron's rolled three twos. Ah, oh, dear, that psychic power saved us here. And then uh, strength seven. Three to wound. One comes through. We'll take a five plus in one save. No, and the damage. D three. Done it. Okay, yeah. So, we'll take away a regular terminator. So remove that model from play. It is Glamour of Zinch, yeah, it's minus one to hit rolls. We'll not get to fight back yet. Uh, Aaron will pick this combat here to see if he can wipe out the Zangles. I'll hit. There we roll ones. ones. So that would be uh, four. Four, five plus in one saves. We've saved one, but it's not enough. 
Wipeout caused here. Zangor slain. Right, interesting the way this is going here. Thousand tons, uh, we were ahead, but uh, the Death Guard, some stiff resistance here. I've now lost the Zangors, and Aaron has pushed forwards three inches, and now there's multiple Death Guard characters at the centre of the table as well. So Thousand Sons uh, will have to fight on desperately uh, if they are to prevail in this game. Okay, so we'll respond now with our close combat attacks. There's no combat across the other side. That's all been resolved. So we will... And there's nothing here on this flank either, so it's down to these combats just here. Okay, so Beaker's going to fight. I've tucked him around closer to the objective. Five attacks. Rerolling ones for his own buff. He's got all of his hits. They're bliss... Uh, weapon skill, two plus... Three is two, and it's strength six. Yeah, there's four wounds have come through here, and it's minus one. Uh, three is two, and four is two. Toughness. Oh, sorry, it's a demon prince. Yeah, there was a three in there. Apologies. Okay, four of them. Three of them have made it through. Not going to matter, probably, anyway. Two have made it through. Yeah. And the damage is D3, but it's just one on each. Okay. So two five pluses. One at a time. Here comes. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Destroyed. All right, so all resolved. Can't move any, any of these now, so they're going to have to sit where they are. Terminators to fight next. Uh, the aspiring sorcerer, two attacks plus one because we were charged. Threes to hit. Rerolling ones. They've all hit. They're all wounded. Triple five. AP minus one. And D3 damage. Got him twice here. He's got the separating plate, hasn't he? Yeah, we'll resolve that in a moment. Um, so damage is five. Okay. Pass two, well done, but three wounds caused on the Lord of Contagion. We'll attack back with power swords, needing threes. And then we'll need fives to wound. Zero, nothing there with the power swords. I was just going to roll a 4 plus here for the separating plate. Nope. No, alright, it doesn't go off. It's a 4 plus to cause a mortal wound. That's for a, a save that was made. You get a chance to cause a mortal wound. So, uh, across here, looking better now for the Thousand Sons. The Dim Prince is gone. We've lost our Warlord, but we've got a cluster of Psychers still uh, on this objective. Uh, and the Lord of Contagion causing trouble, but he's taken some heavy damage himself. Uh, a few more wounds and he'll be gone. That's the end of the turn. Bit of morale to resolve. We'll finish off the turn here for the Death Guard in turn three. Okay, so morale's fine across the board here. Uh, points then picked up for the Death Guard. Uh, it's not close enough. None here. Uh, so looking bleak here for the Death Guard here at this stage. Thousand Sons maintaining characters on this objective. It's worth three points to them at the end of the turn. And they have the other objective across the board as well. We'll go on to... The movement phase now we're going to turn four uh, for the Thousand Suns Chaos Space Marines. Okay, so movement complete here for the Thousand Suns. Uh, the two Acolyte squads here, the Cultists of Advance, just pushing through. Uh, Advance, we've rolled a six here for Disco Inferno, so he's zoomed right across the board here. Uh, it remains stationary with the Rubik Marines just to let off some firepower. Terminators happy to sit in close combat. Uh, the two Psychers just here, Exalted Sorcerers, happy to sit on the objective. We were talking about the value of this objective earlier on. The character that was holding it has been slain, so we're back to the reset here. So back to just one possible point for holding that objective. And then just move around the other side. This angle's gone to here, might try and charge around the bend, just hidden out of line of sight. Uh, against this vehicle. The line of Pox Orca is going to try and deal with that here. The two Mauler Fiends just pushing their way through these containers. Terminators have moved ahead. Zangles have claimed this objective on the Thousand Suns left hand flank. We're going to Psychic Phase now with the Thousand Suns on turn four. Alright, so Psychic Phase is complete. You can see warp time has been used here. And we're all six for advance. They've shot up across the board here, 12 inches uh, with these acolytes. All they've done is move this game, just wander around the table, doing their job, screening at the back, and then trying to push through to disrupt uh, the Thousand Suns, or the uh, 
death guard vehicles here. Tried to do smite and failed. Uh, smite more successful across here though. Uh, the Lord of Contagion is gone. He's been smitten to death here. There was a peril that took place. Beaker took two mortal wounds. Uh, one Poxorker brought down from a low grade smite coming from the Terminators. Terminators use their power of being able to restore models to place. So we restored one Terminator back to that unit and that is uh yeah doombolt att attempted here and failed so that's psychic phase finished not too bad uh the lord of contagion's gone we're going to shooting phase now for the thousand sons on turn four okay so shooting phase uh, it's been resolved here uh, typhus took some damage uh firepower coming through from the Maru rubik marines up here uh he's actually the closest model so able to shoot at him he's got one wound left uh then firepower coming from the Terminators took down three of the Poxwalkers, uh, two of the Plague Marines, only one of them left now in that crater. That was firepower from the other Terminator squad coming through. So uh, that's all the shooting done. Some charges and Overwatch to resolve next as the Thousand Suns uh, continue uh, to press here against the Death Guard battle line. All right, so charges have taken place. Uh, both the Mall of Fiends have gone in against the Poxwalkers, and so too have the Terminators. So uh, there's big charges taking place on that flank uh, as they go in against the Poxwalker line. That is charges complete. We'll resolve the combats across the other side. All right, so combat's resolved. I think the game's come to a, an end at this point. It's looking very difficult here for the Death Guard uh, to try and salvage the situation. Poxwalkers have been decimated. How many... About six or so of them, six left, yeah. yeah, six left of those. Uh, the Morlofines dicing them up there and the Terminators cutting them down as well. So, situation on the ball. This is the end of turn four here for the Thousand Sons. The difficulty here for the Death Guard, these vehicles, yes, their firepower is available, but they've got infantry squads moving in to try and disrupt them and they're going to struggle to make impact towards the objectives. That's the key here for this game. This flank now dominated by the Maulafines. Poxwalkers won't last too long. Then across here, Typhus is there, but he's only got one wound left. He's got a Psyker in his way and a squad sitting on top here as well, uh, watching his moves as well. Yeah, it's very difficult. We've got characters on here. It's going to start picking up more and more points. So uh, Aaron's happy enough to concede at this point. It's quite devastating here for the Death Guard. The whole world has been turned on its head here. Uh, the Tower at the top, uh, they have suffered severely in this league. And now the Death Guard has suffered as well. They finished second in Season 7. And now it looks like they could crash out of this league as well. So, you know, Season 8 league... Uh, we've tried to mix it up so all the armies get an equal chance, but that has caused absolute havoc here in the pecking order that is on this channel. Yeah. So uh, the old kings have been dethroned and new heirs to the throne uh, are beginning to emerge. The Thousand Sons off to a, a good start here for their season campaign. Uh, other armies have performed well in the league so far. Uh, but it's been great to see a spread of armies taking place or taking part in the league here for season eight. Uh, but who knows how it's going to go? But uh, everything's been turned on its head, and the Death Guard have been defeated here for a second time this season. That could well be them out here for the season. We hope to see them again. This Challenger Scorpion games they can take part in, and uh, other potential games as well. But for season eight, it is a shock result here. The Death Guard they finished second in season seven but uh, they've suffered uh, their second defeat here for season eight the thousand sons have emerged victorious they picked up their first win uh, in the league so uh, final score in this game uh, two points picked up for objectives for aaron and then he got the warlord kill as well so three points there uh, for the thousand sons we picked up eight points for objectives uh, then line breaker first blood and slay the warlord picked up as well so 11 points to three is the final score so if you want to check out the league uh, there is a tab on the plus channel at striking scorpion 82 plus tv uh, you can check out that page just click on league and it will show you the status of all the armies which ones are ready for war uh, and then as you scroll down it'll give you all the results uh, for all of the battles that have taken place and you can see which armies uh, are on the table and how well each is performing uh, then for season eight battle reports we're running half of them here on youtube and the other half over on the plus channel so if you want to get all of the action for season eight then check out striking scorpion 82 plus.tv but in this 
particular fight here. Chaos has clashed with chaos, but it is the Thousand Suns that have emerged victorious. Great game. Uh, brilliant combination this one. I really enjoyed This is the debut here for this combo taking place, uh, but it's been a great fun game for sure and hope to see this combination again in the future. There it is. Thanks for watching and tune in next time. Right, so units of the game for both sides. Uh, for the Thousand Suns, uh, a lot of units did perform well. Decent firepower, some deadly firepower coming from this squad here and from the Terminators. Uh, good screening duty from the debut units here, the Cultists doing their job. They didn't take a single casualty. No. <laughs> New model syndrome, no. They, they did their job. They didn't fight anybody either. They just avoided contact and just moved around the table. No one interested in even firing a shot against them in the entire game. Uh, but uh, I'm going to give it to the Mauler Fiends. They're, they were a nightmare in this game. Uh, difficult to get rid of and uh, causing trouble in close combat against multiple targets, including Mortarian himself. Uh, Aaron's saying uh, he's going to give it to that Demon Prince. It started at the back here, jumped out across, eventually killed Aram and brought him down, uh, and then jumped across and took out the Demon Prince Warlord as well. Now, he had a good tally of kills, so... Uh, a good unit, very useful in this game. Uh, so that is units of the game for both sides.